Welcome to Zero Hit Points, everybody. It is September 18th. I'm Ryan Miller, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited about this. You may know him from Twitch. It's Matt Amber. It's true. The Matt it's, Amber. No, it's everybody. me. I'm here. I can't believe it. I, I know. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm back doing this. I'm excited we got you. Yeah, this is, I this was is a big, starting to wonder. big get for you. Big get. It was. I, and you know, to be honest, I don't even feel like you're big timing I'm, me. You know what? I'm trying not. I feel like you're pretty down look, to I, earth. Thank you, man. Look, I, I don't want to change. I don't want to be any. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to be a different person. <laughs> I just. I just want people to realize that I'm better than everybody. <laughs> like in no specific way. <laughs> oh, well, you're better than me at streaming. I'll give well, you that much. Look. What a whirlwind week. For you, it must have been. I think. I feel like it has. Been. I don't know. It's been a great week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We. Uh, I got my. I, I. I. told everybody. I said. I threatened this, and I followed through on this threat. <laughs> I said after PAX, uh, the stream schedule was going to get solidified, and I was going to try and be online more and do like actual stuff. And sure enough, last week, first weekend, we're feeling pretty good. Got a, a usually between a five and eight hour stream going per day, and. Um, uh, we hit, uh, we're doing Tuesdays through Saturdays, Sundays and Mondays being kind of days off. I was going to say that Saturday was your marathon. Or that was, it the was eight, eight hours. Hour yeah. Yeah. And that, I, the only yeah. reason I actually stopped was because, uh, we had, uh, tickets to go see the film Mandy, go check out book club for movies on Thursday. Cause uh, we're going to talk about that. Okay. Uh, little sneak. Yeah. So right. I actually would have kept going on Saturday and, uh, do you eat? I, I did when i um when i stopped playing games <laughs> i did it's somebody definitely okay. i got i actually have somebody clipped me saying something ridiculous already so that's fantastic what yeah. uh so a full week of whatever what 80 hours worth of streaming and somebody got one wacky one. clip of you that's all i've only been wacky it's one pretty time. good pretty yeah, good odds bad. it's been great though man if they, if thank you everybody anybody who's coming over from the the twitch channel and listening to this thank you so much for stopping by both places uh i really appreciate it it's been it's been an awesome week like it's really been one of the best weeks i've had in a really long time like there have been a couple of moments on stream when i've been uh blown away by the amount of like i've had people in chat every single day and <laughs> and they've been engaged and we've been talking and it's been fun and and you know when when that follower alert goes off it is just like there's a little <laughs> <laughs> and and it's audible i believe it, that's connected it is. to the no wait wait what sound does it play when oh what, when it actually when it's a follow it's uh the the sound from uh, it's mr scream from wayne's world 2 <laughs> that's right that's right lots of good uh Easter eggs, I guess, sure. from things that aren't ours. Yeah, no, absolutely. I don't know how you set it up. What was it? Stream something rather? Yep. Labs. Yep. Sure. Okay. Stream, stream labs. Stream I know elements. all about this stuff. You're very, you're very in touch. Yeah. You are on. In fact, for all the fans that are joining right now, I'm Ryan. Uh, I have very little idea about streaming, uh, <laughs> and in fact, not only probably did I not understand the breadth of what you were proposing here and have executed on, uh, it was the worst week, both supportively. <laughs> for me to be a part of this team it seems like my wife is out of town so i've had the kids and you, literally since the i, th I want to say the first day when did you start this tuesday tuesday yeah yeah so literally my wife has been out of town so i've had the kids so i will you'll come on i'll turn it on i mean besides work even if work wasn't going to be you know the thing that took me away from everything i'll turn it on i'll leave it going so if you're a twitch please don't listen to this because i'm a real person that's watching he is. all the He's time there. actually he, he communicates but yeah i just fell back because every time i did step in and was able to do something i'm like man he is just from what i can tell knowing nothing <laughs> completely nailing it i hope so in there i hope so i i'm having fun it's it's uh, so you know, jumping into to games, what do we yeah, play I'm this saying, week? Yeah, you, you just know? take it to games. What what have you been playing during these things? The entire my, my stream game is is most certainly Dead by Daylight. It's the focus. It's what's going to be a majority of the time, unless the game is unavailable. This week, uh, it was a lot of that, mostly that. Uh, I did have a few days here and there where a couple, for a couple of hours I was playing Dead Cells on the PC. There is there is a translation issue in my brain or something. I am having a harder time playing it on PC, and I think it's probably because oh, really? I'm distracted. I'm like it is it is a much better game on the PC, I think, because of the huh. Twitch integration. It's it's super fun to for like so. I finally get to the boss, and as I get to the boss, somebody that was in chat decided to become the boss and just wrecked the crap out of me. <laughs> it was like throwing stuff at me. I'm like, I've never seen this. I can't do it. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> it was great though. You know, I mean, people involved uh, uh, at, at that game, that game shines by itself, but it is a freaking fire star when you are playing and other people are, you know, Hey, I, you need people to type in the chat to open up the Twitch chest. You need people, people can, can vote which direction you go. They can, uh, you know, they can take over the bosses. Somebody, somebody can become captain chicken and heal you and, and, uh, <laughs> and all that. And it's, it's ridiculous. It's a ton of fun. It's crazy to me that they would have nailed that too. I mean, the because by all accounts, that gameplay is solid it in is. a way that you know people spend years, which they probably did spend years on this thing. But still, you know, you hear about the gameplay and to hear that they nailed Twitch integration too. It's great. Like, and and they and and the way they nailed it too. I think what I one of the things I really enjoy is that they have a whole sub menu of things you can turn on and off. So like, you could actually turn off if you just don't want people to be the boss. You can turn that off if you only want people Tony to Tony Danza. Blue. Yeah, click. no Tony, no Danza. Don't get your Danza on. <laughs> Judith Light, click. Ha <laughs> ha! See, sh- who was the boss? I think show it, over. I think it was Judith Light. <laughs> I think she was always truly the boss. <laughs> Angela, I. Uh, Hey, but then, I'm sorry, I interrupted. Yeah, no, no, it's great. Uh, Dead Cells is amazing. I highly recommend it for any platform you can get it on. If you have a Switch, I, I like that is legitimately man. That game is dangerous to me. I think that is an awful game for the Switch because it is so addicting. Every time you're like, okay, well, cool. I can just pause the middle of this run and walk away and come back and go, oh yeah, I'm here. I'm in the middle of this run. Great. Going along. Oh no, I died. Well, great. I better just restart this run right now. Okay. I gotta pause it again. Okay, fine. Just come back. Like, and, and PAX ruined that game, man. It, I just want to play it so much. And I do. I loved it. I love playing it on PC. I've got my, my uh, Xbox controller that plugs in. So it was actually going to be my next question. Yeah. If that had something to do with the difficulty on PC, I, I mean, I'm a bad PC gamer in that I don't. You don't really play them. So You're I, like Adam that Parkin. sounds very hard to me. Yeah, no, I mean, plugging it in with the Xbox controller does make it significantly different. It makes it closer to, but it's still not like, it, you know, it's 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 not like significantly different in terms of, of like the control feel or anything. It just, it is totally that going from a switch controller to this controller and this controller, like it's, it's that, uh, the fallout controller. So it's not even a one-to-one for like the normal Xbox controller. It's a little fun. They're a little funkier. I don't know. It's, I'm just bad at the game, but I have a lot of fun with it. It's been a joy. It was your little PAX buddy. I'll it say. was. I played it a lot and I'm, I'm continuing. I like it. Uh, and then, cool. and then of course, uh, most of the stream, like I said, dead by daylight, I am playing a ton of Survivor there. Most Survivor, more Survivor than Killer. Just again, I was going to say I don't think I even when the times I did pop in my head, I don't think I saw any Killer runs. Yeah, it's uh, during the day is very difficult for me to get games, and I'd honestly rather just play the game than sit in a chat, you know, than just sit there for ten minutes. Like I like chatting with people. I can sit in the chat for ten minutes. That's fine. If people want me to play Killer, I absolutely have no problem doing it. I would just rather play the game than sit, you know? So um, later in the evenings on like Fridays and Saturdays, uh, if I, if I end up continuing playing the game during the evening like that, uh, you'll, you'll probably see more killer games. But for right now, uh, during the day, it's a lot of survivor having a lot of fun with it. We've got uh, a decent amount of, you know, we're getting there. We're, we're learning the game. We're getting better. We're, we're, uh, this just on Saturday we we uh we hit 69 hours. <laughs> and then we broke it. <laughs> we and stopped. Oh, we okay. We broke the, the 6. Yeah, now we're done with that game. That's we only play games up to that. And once we hit that, we're like, yeah. Um sorry, I don't want to backtrack too much. So choosing killer does affect matchmaking. Yeah, because, they haven't really yeah, because necessarily figured out how to Because you are the host. The killer is the host of the game, so you're connecting to the host. It's not like centralized servers. They're not. It's just it's peer to peer. So with uh, with killer, I it's I, it's got to be a location thing because I'm in you know because I'm in Denver, so it's that weird like I'm in the middle time zone here, mountain time zone and uh, middle huh. time zone. Yeah, middle time zone. So what they That's call what it the M- MTZ. For. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, we're like TMZ, but we're in the middle of it all. Yes, and it's just time. And it's related. just time related. We're like, hey, did you see so and so go to the grocery store? They did at eleven fifty nine p.m. <laughs> but we're still garbage people. Yeah, so ter- okay. yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, we, we follow suit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. I assume it's just my time zone. Honestly, it's it's if I play in the early morning, like if I played earlier in the day, I'd probably get games. If I play late in the night, I'll get games. But in the middle of the day, it's survivors and that's cool i like it i'm having a lot of fun with the survivors it's 
it is it is a real treat. Uh, <laughs> I, I still to this am getting scared left and right about people, and it's fun. I love it. I have heard that that's one of the most engaging parts about you is the real and believable screams that you admit during your stream. I do. Admit, stream. Did no. I say scream? Your scream stream. My scream stream. 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 Yeah, that's what we call it, the scream stream. Okay. I. It's got to be taken. If it's not, you probably should type I'd, that. I'm already on top of it. I've, I've <laughs> trademarked something that's already been trademarked, but it's fine. Nobody nobody knows. Our country is in disarray. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so so uh, the the stream schedule is set. It's at the bottom of the Twitch page, zero hit points Twitch page. Uh, b- pretty much, ba- I'm starting at about two thirty every day in the uh, MSTs and going eh, seven thirty, eight o'clock usually. If I go longer, I go longer. Fridays and Saturdays will hmm. very likely be uh, in the evening at least. Be um, probably more variety stuff. Uh, people getting involved if, if friends want to play games. And that'll be the day that. I usually pop in, I would say, if, if any. Sure, yeah, and it, it'll be the day we'll play some Overwatch, we'll play PUBG, we'll do, you know, stuff like that with other people. You know, we'll, uh, I think some of the, the damn Woods boys want to play games every now and again, nice. so we'll do, nice. we'll do stuff like that and have the funds. But, uh, yeah, we're going to... We're going to keep going. We're going to keep chugging away. We've got uh, our our goal here is we're, we're going for that affiliate. We're on the road to affiliate. We, we, need, uh, we need five more followers, Ryan. Five. Is that it? I, you, you briefly showed me that checklist. Again, I've been not as involved as I should have been. Is that the uh, – there seem to be a lot of requirements. Five followers is the only one. 50. Is the, 50 followers is the actual, is the requirement. No, but I need five of more. all the requ- – oh, wait. That's the only requirement? No, there's – For affiliate? Oh. 50 followers. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Three v- but you have everything else. You only need five followers to complete everything. I don't have everything else. I need oh, five okay. followers to really start worrying about everything else because everything else got, is mm, viewership okay. and length of time. You're, you're streaming and stuff, which I can get. It's just time, time-based. time I just got to get – you know, got to be there more and – and yeah, all that. It's only the first week. First week. It's, we're coming back. Gotcha. We'll be back. Uh, the, we're back today, actually. We're, today, Tuesday, can, when this is. You can listen to me and watch me and listen to me all at the same time. I'll consider it. <laughs> it's like uh, my my velveteen voice is. Rabbit. Those, mm-hmm. The dulcet tones. Uh, people are going to. This is going to take people aback. The rougher nature of this show compared to your stream. Yeah, which I can't. That's. It, I'm already blown away by the difference. I can't believe my quality is so good when I'm alone and just streaming live, you know, being amazing. <laughs> you know, and then I've got a producer here, a host that's supposed to take care of everything, make me sound good, and for some reason nobody likes me here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Ryan. I Any other you. games? Is that is that is that the is that gonna be in fact better question? Do we look forward to this weekly now? Like do you basically just talk about the games you play on stream? Or I, I I probably won't dig too much into them unless there's something new or or, or oh, okay. whatever. But uh, I'm trying to make uh, Mondays right after we record. I'll get a few hours um, to to myself where I can actually play games. So Sunday is a no games day at all. Uh, okay. Uh, but Monday, uh, you know, the wife will be out doing her 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 riding the horses and d- grooming the horses and taking <laughs> care of the horses and doing her things. Mm-hmm. Shut up, Ryan. No, I, I just <laughs> I know some people listening right now have no idea either what we're talking about or if we're serious, and I don't blame them at all because whenever we talk about real life things, we talk about them in a voice that's like, "This is a real thing that we can't say in a stupid way." But we've it's we say in a stupid out, way. Oh, yeah. Yes, we we have a horse. Uh, it's a real life horse. His name is Dusty. He is again. See, this is coming he off. Is a, he <laughs> the is horse a, is alive. He is. A, he is alive. He exists. We feed him on a regular basis every day. <laughs> he consumes food. He does not live at as our house. You've heard. He lives at somebody else's barn. Uh, Whatever. You know. Dude's at the dinner table every night. <laughs> <laughs> He's, it's very Mister Ed situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the yeah did the uh the barn was it connected to the house his head was always like outside like the half door what's the barn half door called those have a name right yeah it's called a door okay it, but he was in the house like he had to be able to talk to him it seems like it's a very specific arrangement now that you mention it you know it is and i don't know that the barn door was attached to the house i think that was it? i think he just stuck his head in the window I, I've seen minutes of that show across however many, and it's been. I mean, I know that years, Wilbur would go outside so and talk to him. Maybe that's what it was. He, I just feel like they were at the dinner table at times, and they would say something, and then they turn over. Mister Ed would be like, "Yeah, I think I think like, his you know, head. I think he stuck his head through the window. I think it okay. was. I think oh, there was like the right, kitchen sure. window or whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Uh, check out Twitch for Matt. It'll be great. Yeah, that's it. Twitch for Matt. And his horse. Dot com. Go there. That's probably a real website. Probably is. Twitch.com. Twitch or... for Matt. It's, it's no, uh, it, you know, it sounds like, it sounds like there's a, it's like the fun run cure. Twitch for Matt for the cure. <laughs> like, hey, you know, it's funny that you mentioned something like that, that has a cause attached to it. Cause I feel like at some point very nearly mm. you're going to be doing such a thing on Twitch said twitch channel of yours that's crazy i can't believe you're bringing this up i was gonna bring it up later too yeah oh, yeah well, uh, we'll definitely bring it up before we go but maybe while we're in it well, we're in it to win it let's be in it to win it. win it this yeah, saturday uh the 22nd is that correct is that the right day yeah that is correct uh, nice uh we are going to be working with spawn on me uh the fellows over there and uh ladies over there all the people at spawn on me um, to do a, uh, a charity stream, we're going to be trying to raise money for a cause called Vote Riders, VoteRiders.org. They're a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization that provides mm, like already. practical assistance and information to ensure voters have the right kind of ID to vote in their state. More than anything, I, I appreciate the fact that this is something that is it is nonpartisan. It's it's nonprofit. It's just getting people the right to vote you know you, you whether or not you want to engage in that that's cool get your stuff together so you can and that's the point here is to make sure that there are a lot of voter restriction laws across the country that are um that disenfranchise people and the point of of um, vote writers is to help people that are disenfranchised that are not able to vote that don't understand why that that uh that, that just need to get their their uh, stuff together this is what they do they're like the 0.5 step so they provide data, they provide information and help on how to get the right ID for your state so you can get to those voting booths and make decisions that either help or hinder yourself. You decide. Yeah. So that's Saturday. That's going to be Saturday. We're going to be 12. We're going to be going 12 to 2 p.m. PST. And I believe, yeah, I, I, let me not, I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to, okay. I want to speak for you, but I think, I think Do this it. is going to be a two man situation. I think we're both going here. Out. All right. I'm out. Done. It's just me then. <laughs> Either way, it will not be dead by daylight. We will be playing some other some other uh, uh, games. We'll be doing maybe some Rocket League. I think sounds like just a ton of fun. F floated that idea, yeah. and I think honestly, when it comes down to it, that seems to be a good fallback for us. Plus, it's ridiculous. We're real bad at it, and we can be loud about it. Do whatever. Last time we won like all of our games, and it was like seven games. Yeah, but this time we're gonna be we're gonna be playing with PC players too, because we're gonna be doing cross platform, baby. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be way worse for you, yeah, uh, or it's gonna be worse for me, or it's gonna be equal, and we're still gonna be bad. And we've been playing you know, cross-platform this whole time. It doesn't matter. Or it's gonna be good for everybody. It's gonna be great because causes. And it's stuff. for a good cause. We're gonna try and raise money for vote riders. Come on by, stop by. Let us let us know how you feel about us. Give us a follow. Give us a yell at. Give us money. Like and subscribe. Yes. For video games For, there we go let's what what did you play what did you do this week <laughs> you gotta have video uh, games to talk about i'm still doing god of war and i'm clocking in on it so i would say i'd probably be pretty close to the end so you've you've now met mamir you finally have mamir uh you know i i think i normally i would have uh, i got held up in two different spots because i i'm not too far past opening up the lake of nine i think i went to alfheim the Alf universe. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just elves. And yes. And fought all them and then came out <laughs> back to Midgard. You had to eat a whole bunch of cats. Oh yes. That was, yeah, no, that's, that's an elf, elf land. Yeah. Alfheim. <laughs> Gordon Shumway. Oh, Gordon best, Shumway. Elf joke. <laughs> best, best elf joke. Go up to just anybody and, and use that name. Like, like, Hey, do you remember Gordon Shumway? And, <laughs> People always be like, yeah, I do know that name, but have ne never have any idea. I did it to my, my half-brother, long story. And I was like, yeah, do you remember, did you know Gordon Shumway? And he's like, why do I know that name? <laughs> <laughs> and then you just keep it going for as long as you can. Alf. But this is what happened in God of War. I got sidetracked, <laughs> basically. Because you do get sidetracked by that game. Well, in that game especially, I was like, you know, I don't know how much I'll get involved in the side stuff. I kind of just want to see this game. I want to see the story. I want to experience it. And then the side stuff, you go, wait, it's engrossing, and also, it helps fill out. It yeah. helps fill out some of the game. And wait, what? And it's a gorgeous game. You just want to see more of it. The sense of scale, and I think this is a God of War thing. I've never played any other God of War, but 
it's done so well. Just everything seems so huge. And in a way, you know, I've played games before where you're you have? a cog in a machine oh. or yeah, no, just overall <laughs> or, or <laughs> something to that effect where they definitely try to give the game a sense of scale. Right. I just feel like it's never been done as well. In, as it has been in this thing, I, I agree. Actually, I think that I think that I mean I, I don't know. I think there are some games that that have done it very very well, and I think this game is oh, up sure. there. Um, it, it, I don't know if it's the best game that's ever done it, but yeah, no, no, it's it's fantastic. It's, Thanks. It's crapping all over. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, you want to send? It's just fun to be like just puttering around the world, the Lake of Nine, and seeing the the world snake turtle guy. The world there. snake just, is awesome. I love the world snake. Just really cool, really good. So you, and it just looks. Good. So you haven't gotten to Mimir yet? No. So I got, like I said, I got held up on two things. Number one, I found a realm tear mm-hmm. that was just barely over leveled for me, and I'm not leveled very much at all. So it probably is, is a nothing. But I got stuck because I could, I found I could hit one guy off an edge, and then I would only have one left. <laughs> but it was one of those things where you just like you need to take his health bar down little by little yeah. as I'm skirting and dodging and and trying not to block as much because then I'm too close. And then just you know you doing all I'm basically kiting the dude. I'm being stupid with my axe and stuff. All the dumb stuff again that I would do if I was under leveled for a battle like this. Sure, sure. But I got stuck doing that for like an entire night. And then again, I got stuck two nights, I think, just going all through Midgard and yeah, well that, that's exploring every single place. And you know, there are some stuff I can't reach yet, so finding out what I can and can't reach takes a little bit of extra time. Yeah, so, so getting Mimir will help with that. Okay. And and also, here's the other thing about Mimir. Because of what you're doing, I, I'm, I'm legitimately going to tell you, I am going to plead with you, stop doing what you're doing. Okay, get okay, get okay. to the point where you have Mimir with you. Because, and this is this is the main reason, all you're doing is you're, you're, you're going around, you're cruising around, you're experiencing the world. When Mimir shows up, he gives so much dialogue with Kratos and with Junior Kratos. Uh, that I can't remember his name anymore. <laughs> uh, Atreus. Atreus, yeah. Beverly, Beverly D'Angelo's kid uh, from uh, <laughs> Christmas exactly. Vacation. Yeah, no, that's, uh, yes. yeah, yeah. But Mimir gives, like, there are stories that get told, like actual uh, mythological stories that get told and, and, expre- and expressed and ex- uh, expanded upon as you go on. And they're great conversations between the three of them with Atreus talking to Mimir, Mimir giving him this story and then having Kratos kind of being able to confirm some of the stuff and talk about okay. why. Okay. And it will, not only does it, it fill out nicely, it will make just, it, it makes that stuff even more like, you'll be like, oh, now I'm not even bothered by the fact that I've, I've spent two and a half hours doing nothing because I've okay, heard a okay. whole bunch of that. A beeline to Mimir. Beeline that's, to Mimir. That's what I've learned. That's what today. I'm saying. You and you, you get. You've got to be really close to getting him. Like very, very. I've close. just. I we did Alfland. I came back, and I'm. Oh no no! I know. I just. I just uh, uh, dispelled all the black smoke coming out of that mouth on the mountain. Okay. And I just walked up to the top of that. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm sure I'm going to get sidetracked again rather than. So you're you're leave my. You are pretty close, if I remember correctly, to getting Mimir. And because okay, okay. Mimir, they talk about you have to go up to the tree, and and it's a, there's a cut scene, there's a great cut scene between um, uh, people. It's great. You're gonna love it. Okay, last question. I promise. Does Mimir give you a, an ability that lets you unlock some of that other stuff, like some of the stuff I was running into I couldn't do? I noticed there's some chests that's like a shiny, it's like a magical red thing that I can't affect yet. So yes, but not in the way you're thinking. <laughs> Okay. I just I'm just wondering cuz that was one of the reasons I was like I should just mainline this thing is cuz I get engrossed in it but I I mean I understand why they don't but I would like to be able just to take I'm the guy that likes to go to an area, complete everything, leave it. Yeah, you know, and and this you can't. You you okay, all to right. do it like if you wanted to do that, you legitimately would just have to main mainline the story and and honestly in my opinion and there's just, you know, you could do it. I think you just lose out on a lot because okay. there are things that show up that you can, that'll open up to you. Like the Valkyries, the when the Valkyries open up to you, like, yeah, you can go do them. You don't have to go do any extra work. You can go fight them. Have fun. And it's a great gotcha. extra part of the story and you're going to miss out on it because you won't be able to do it. Okay. 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 All right. God of war. Honestly, I won't, talk too much about it i know i want to hear could be soon i I I want you to play it i want you to get this stuff i want to have this conversation more okay all right don't threaten me okay so the other thing i played then was monopoly deal well that's okay let's keep talking about god of war (laughs) 
<laughs> I like Monopoly Deal. I think that game is super fun. I have never played Actually, the... yeah, the actual game. Yeah, no, we have both Monopoly Deal Millionaire, I think it's called, is probably our preference, but but yeah. Yeah. Fun card game, recommended. Is it is is there a digital version of it? Are you playing it on this your phone? This is the digital version, yes. On your phone? In fact, uh, no, this is Xbox. Oh, really? Yeah, there was some pack that came with, I think, three type Monopoly games. I huh. can't remember what the other two are, but we went into deal. My daughter really likes Monopoly Deal. It's the one she can kind of play better and doesn't take seven days. Do so they, do it's they have, play the most often. does it have online play? Um, Yes, it does. Oh, man, I might have to pick that up because I actually really like sure. those games. It can't be expensive. And we could have we could have family night. We could. It's not the best made game. Like it's kind of got that whole, you know, Scrabble and in fact it is it a Ubisoft game? I can't remember who made it. It's got that look to it, you know, like the look like somebody spent just enough time to make this functional. Or, you know, in <laughs> Ubisoft's case, not even that sometimes, <laughs> amazingly enough. Tetris. But it's it's fine and functional and good. The funniest part about it is that it's the most self-affirming game you're ever going to play, I think. Great job! Like, Way to buy! You, Using no, your to- well, oh. yeah, voice could add a lot to it. This is mostly just rounds of applause. Oh, good! I mean, you play a wild card, you'll get some applause. Sure, sure. that makes sense. Sure. But this thing's like, you play like a card that just lets you draw two more cards and it's like round of applause. Everybody just keeps going and going. You're like, <laughs> all right. You could pretty much do anything, and it's like, yeah, you're the best at this game. Oh man, <laughs> I do love. How did you do that? I do love games like that that make you feel good. You know, like <laughs> like see, that's why I don't like Peggle because sometimes you miss things, and then Peggle goes, oh, and then I don't feel good. True, none of that here. Let yeah. me tell you, at no point. Somebody was probably like, hey, should we add like an oh if something bad happens? And like, no. And Mr. You add applause. Mr. Mo- put the applause in again. Something Mr. Bad Moneybags happens. walks in and slaps the guy across the face with a, ba- with a, do- <laughs> a bag with a dollar sign on it and says, no, you fool. We want them to love themselves. So they buy more of our products. <laughs> I don't know why he sounds like that, but he does. Well, he, he sound, it looks like he might sound like he, that. Mr. Moneybags. Does he have a monocle or am I thinking about Mr. Peanut? Uh, both. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I think they might be related, actually. Probably. They're both I a mean, cu- Mr. Peanut. They're both a couple obviously. of salty, rich nuts. Mm. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> it's that kind of biting commentary. I could have said rich, salty nuts. Uh, is that biting commentary? That was more of a witty rejoinder. It, Let me read it, it. No, you know what? I like both of those. I'm like, great that you said witty rejoinder, by the way. <laughs> it's one of my favorite terms. And it's that type of witty rejoinders that is going to take us into uh, news today, which... Lightning round! <laughs> yeah, I guess might be something of a lightning round. Hey, remember we used to do the lightning round? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> We should, yeah. We, in fact, we said at one point the capper might end up being that. I think we did. It's been a while. We it, had we spent more time, and had I not had to schedule pickup of my children very soon, we might be doing one of those today. But we're not. Here, Technically, this is us just talking about the Nintendo Direct that happened over the past week. Mm-hmm. I want to bring something up real quick because because oh. you did you mentioned you had to schedule your pick, uh, pickup of your children, which made me think of something. Why okay. can't can you like maybe you could DoorDash some like in and out and just have them DoorDash your kids with that like hey pick up oh, my yeah, kids I'm sure they'd be into that and then also get some food for us and then come mm-hmm. to my house and drop it all off that doesn't require an extra license or why but federal prosecution level I don't know what your problem is <laughs> like I don't know what you're thinking here like they're buying food they're bringing you food why can't they bring you children like it's your kids DoorDash kids. DoorDash kids. Like, that's just what it is. And and but DoorDash is written like in crayon and it's like all like mixed up and <laughs> DoorDash kids. Nice, man. Um yeah, so Nintendo had a direct. It was great. Uh tell me if any of these things get your motor running. Get motor run. Uh Luigi's Mansion three? Ah, not really. Okay. <laughs> admired from afar i guess never played any of them no no never played any of them somebody's excited yoshi's crafted world what is yoshi's crafted world ryan uh it's another one of those (laughs) the way you ask things around here it it looks like uh there was a woolly world wasn't there at one point do you play any of these i did not i really wanted to play woolly world and i actually got the um i have the the amiibo because it was a yarn because it was that's right it was a yarn yosh was a yarn yosh with a good story behind it, the good there was an, a Nintendo employee that was just making those on her own, and somebody saw him was like, "Hey, amiibos!" And she went, 
cool. She said, okay, I yeah. should have done this not on my own and yeah. figured out a way to sell this to you. But yeah, I don't own this work, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I've made a poor, poor decision. I've, <laughs> I've made a very poor decision. So yeah, y- uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. <laughs> is it another one that's coming like out that? 2019, early to late? So. Is it like is it like Woolly World? Is he is he yarn Yoshi? It looks more like paper folding oh, of sorts. Okay. Just looking at the screenshots. That here. makes sense because you do craft paper crafts. That's sure. sure. All right. The Yoshis themselves look to be some sort of plush thing. Oh. It's, it's great. I someday, Again, somebody's excited. Someday I want to have a plushie of myself. That's a goal. Hey, the way Twitch is going, you know. Yeah, that's... I. Know. The next thing that, that'll happen with Twitch at best is I'm going to finally do the thing that I've always wanted to do, which is I have always wanted to get a t-shirt with my own face on it that's kind of distorted, and I'm just going to wear that all the time. <laughs> I don't know like, like, where this is going. If, it's if like a t-shirt, to... like a t-shirt that like, you know, you know, when, when you get a t-shirt with somebody's face on it, like the one I'm wearing right now, regular picture, it's a regular photograph of somebody's face, except I want it to be the shirt that like they screwed up. They put it on for too, like they put too much heat on it. So it's like melted a little bit, but it's still, you can hmm. tell it's a face. Like I you want have thought about this. Yeah, no, I have. I really, I really do. I want to figure out, I've got to figure out how to make the photo look terrible, but still recognizable. I was going to say, that sounds like the main hurdle here is, is Just, either taking something to a printer's repeated times until they mess it up. Oh, you very bad. You know what you could, you know what I could do? Or trying to do it yourself beforehand. I bet I could just take a really, really good picture of myself, which I mean, let's be real. If you've ever seen me on Twitch, you know, every picture is a good picture. Is there any other thing? Like, yeah. Could my head get a little bit bigger right now? I submit that it can. And it, (laughs) uh, but I could probably like Xerox it like six or seven times and that'll probably screw it up. Hmm. Yeah. How would you screw up Matt's face? Yeah. Uh, podcast at zerohitpoints.com. Love to know. Uh, and keep <laughs> it in your pants, people. If you had to uh, choose an existing plushie, continuing the last conversation that wasn't even the last conversation, mm-hmm. that you would then substitute as this is actually me, what would it be? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I kind of look like a Super Mario bro. <laughs> okay. A Mario plushie? Sure. You could do that. You could do that. You could take, you, I was expecting some just, horror theme, like leather face. Just got to add some facial hair and then, uh, and then, yeah, just give me like a give, dress. You know what? Really? Honestly, I got it. Give me, give, give it facial hair, change the, change the hair from red to like my, my, my kind of my brown hair and just put mm-hmm. my head on a Chucky doll. Done. <laughs> Now I just want to see you dressed like Chucky, but but, but just from <laughs> just in the actual outfit, no actual yeah. makeup, not nope. actually looking like just looking like me, but just like hey, yep. depressed Chucky. Mm-hmm. Like I'm Chucky. Overall, I got older. I got right. fatter, and nothing went well. <laughs> Have you not done this for Halloween already? <laughs> <laughs> like like what seriously if, it's 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 the it's reverse pinocchio where like he he was possessed <laughs> by brad Dourif and then the, the the dummy did finally become pinocchio like he became the, the real boy uh, but it, he just i will be googling this when we're done <laughs> all right all right what, what else we got what else we got from, oh, nintendo? from the nintendo direct what else do we have if you wonder why we're taking so much time on just whatever we want it's because this is going to be about it here in a second folks yeah. and we're still going to have a short show so the Nintendo Direct also featured something called Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Heck yeah, I am super into that. Give me Oh, okay. I love the Super Mario Brothers. The Super Mario's Wii U new Super Mario Brothers Wii U was excellent. Yeah, that L- you did it. Loved that was it. The whole title. I loved that game. I didn't play it. I didn't have Wii U. So. It looked beautiful. It, it was everything that a Mario Brother Mario Brothers game needed to be. You know, it, it like I and I really loved that. I played the Wii one, I guess. There was one that was basically the same thing, but on the Wii. It was, right? yeah. It basically yeah, right. all they've done is they keep they keep softening the characters a little bit. Like they get more round and they get a little more bubbly. And I really love it for Mario. I don't know why. It just hmm. fits. So I like it. I, I am I'm looking forward to new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. EX plus Alpha. Uh, yeah. Plus Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> Mario finally gets to do a fatality on Luigi. Uh Animal Crossing? No. Pass. No. Okay. Uh, get some Tom Nook footage there for you again. Somebody's real excited. Final Fantasy seven nine ten. I you know could actually be interested in those because if I can take Final Fantasy seven on the go with me, oh man, that's a big one. Like I would love to be able to take a top to top notch Final Fantasy seven game with me. I guess it'll. I mean. Final Fantasy remakes, I feel like they, they sometimes don't work real well. So I, I would imagine this wouldn't be one of those. But yeah, I I don't. Uh, I, I like I said, it could be good. Could okay. be good. 
All right. This was the other one you were interested in. This actually, the, there were two of them. You you didn't have the other one on here. Oh, well, say uh, it. Because the first, the, the other one, I am actually, I love, and this is stupid. It's dumb, but I like it. And this kind of goes hand in hand with the Nintendo uh, Switch Online services. I I uh, I am super super thrilled that they are uh, basically remaking the original Nintendo controllers that slide in. Okay. They charge yeah. on your on your dock and everything. Yeah. No. If they are like the original Nintendo controllers, but but actually you know better. Like I want those bad, and and I'll, those I will get. I will certainly pick those up. Yeah, and these did come in conjunction with Nintendo Switch Online is what they're calling it. There's a bunch of information out there about it now, but I think we've known for a while the NES games that are going to be on there. Um, I, uh, I, so, I think so. I, I'm gonna, I want to give right. this list out real quick, though, because I did not remember this. And, and for what Nintendo's offering here is going to be, and we'll, we'll, we can get into it a little bit. I, I don't think this it's is a, a dang good list. It's don't a, get me wrong. It, yeah, especially if they're adding online functionality to it, like they've been saying. Yeah, and, and so, so this is cool. There are, there are two games in particular on this list that I immediately am like, oh, man, I want to spend time playing these games with Ryan. Easy. Uh, here's the list of games that are going to be with the service you don't pay anything extra for them. They are just part of the service, which I think is really cool. 20 bucks a year, four bucks a month, something like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find we'll get the numbers here for in a minute. But here's the list of yeah. games, only 20 games. Balloon Fight, Baseball, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Dr. Mario, Excite Bite, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Ice Hockey, Legend of Zelda, Mario Brothers, the original Mario, not Super Mario Brothers, uh, Pro Wrestling, River City Ransom, Soccer, Super Mario Brothers, not the original Mario Brothers, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3, not the original Super Mario Brothers, Tech Mobile, Tennis, and Yoshi. Y- wait, and now that Yoshi? I've even reading this list again, Balloon Fight, Double Dragon, uh, Ice Climber. No, yeah, uh, that's a freaking list, like I said. And Mario yeah. Brothers, man, give me that action. Give me that two-player action. So and yeah, this is what the the NES controllers are coming out with the wireless, like basically just perfect looking. Yeah, right. And 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 to to go along with that, um, that comes along with the this is kind of packaged into that online stuff again. These controllers are are tied to the online service. So right. So yeah, yeah, if you don't yeah. have the online service, spending the sixty dollars for the pair of controllers that look like old Nintendo controllers is not going to be. Uh, you know, the most beneficial thing for you. Cause apparently I'm wondering, and I'm wondering if that changes at some point, like I, I would like, hope so. Why wouldn't you just be able to use them with any game you want? You know, this w- that would open them up to games like shovel Knight or something like that. Like I'm sure if shovel Knight had the option, they'd be like, yeah, play this with an NES controller, you know, but apparently, yeah, that this is a, uh, uh, you've got to have subs- you got to have, be subscribed to the online services, um, services, three ninety nine for a month, seven ninety nine for three months, $20 for the year. So, cheapest of 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 the major online services yeah i mean so the whole thing is just so nintendo style like it is it's, it's a weird they they're overcomplicating it it's like everything they do it's like how a robot would do it if they were trying to imitate how it's really done <laughs> in real life you know it's the, the, you'll get cloud saves on some stuff and maybe not on other stuff because they're afraid you'll use it to cheat yep. uh, those might go away once you unsubscribe you know it's all this yeah. Weird. Um, Whatever. The uh, and then and then most of the games they're saying that like especially the first party stuff you're gonna have to be part of the you're gonna have to be on their subscription to play uh, multiplayer stuff. They're still saying that um, some games may or may not require the mm-hmm. online subscription. So that's that's out there. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, Splatoon Two, Arms. Right. I mean, any first party thing, you're going to have to be subscribed, period. That, that they're going to make, they're going to do that. So, well, resident Switch owner, Matt, here at Zero Hit Points. Yeah. Will you be signing up for this thing? Um, yes, I will. Uh, I will right. strictly for to see how the, those, those games come out because being able to sit on the couch with, with friends, with the, with, you know, with the wife, um, you know, if if you end up getting a switch, which you, I'm, go- you, you sold me. Like, like, you want to play some NES games together over the internet? Yeah. No, like that's I'm in. and that's that I right will there. Buy a Switch. Total reason for it, right there. Absolutely. Oh, all right, um, I'm in. Plus, I, plus, I mean, come on, you, you know, the, the, it is aggravating in so many ways that that I've had the Switch for as long as I have, and it was Dead Cells that really opened it up for me and made me go, "Holy crap, this really is the coolest console out right now!" Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it is. It, yeah. It's it's high quality Nintendo stuff on the go it is the it's everything that i've ever wanted a ds to be 
that it was never going to be. You know, I love it. I'm in. So yeah, no, all right, all right. Christmas is coming around. It is. And I will buy it probably months before then. That's probably a smart thing to do too. That bundle I was thinking about was uh, actually a Mario tennis bundle that came with one, two switch as well. And that's, it's like the last one I would want, actually. So especially yeah, now, there are good things about that game, but you know, especially now they're like, oh man, and with Mario Party coming out in December, that's uh, a bundle I would get, and that's yeah, like you've got that coming. Uh, Zelda, Mario, I would probably do pretty much any other that, bundle. I, I'm not gonna lie, man, Mario Odyssey, I still I got to go back and and it's I got to do it more. You know what? Maybe I'll do that on stream. I'll play the game and while the, while like while Dead by Daylight's loading, I'll play my Switch. Like I won't stream, I'll just play the game and be like, "Oh man, Mario." And that's pretty much all the direct had and pretty much all we have actually. Yeah. This week. That's true. Hey, guys, don't forget, and girls and others, uh, stop by Twitch TV yeah, slash geez. Zero Hit Points all week long. I'm there. I'm playing video games. I love it. Uh, don't forget, Saturday, uh, this 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 weekend, we are we are working with Spawn on Me and Vote Riders. We're going to be doing a charity stream. Come by. Support us. Support the charity if you can. VoteRiders.org. We're happy to be working with them. Happy to be working with Spawn on Me. Looking forward to a really good week of streaming. And I don't know. Don't forget about book club for movies. We got freaking Burt Reynolds this week. Not on the show. He's dead, but we talk about him. Cool. <laughs> no, we <laughs> R.I.P. Paul Reynolds. We do a very yes. R.I.P. Nice Burt Walker memorial show in in honor of Burt Reynolds and Paul Walker. Tune in. I've never seen Smoking the Bandit. You saw it 20 years ago, <laughs> judging by the show we accidentally did last week, last Thursday. It's going to be a good one this week. It so, is. Thursday. So so the, the credit song goes here, and, and Ryan's going to fade this out. But don't forget, next Thursday, bookclubformovies.com. <laughs> You're fading it out yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>